everyone. It's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my studio. Wait, welcome back to my channel and my studio. Sometimes I forget what I say because I'm still, you know, I'm still transitioning from the dining room. I mean, I, I mean, I'm here. You know, there's no real transition, but welcome everyone. I'm so happy to have you here on my live today. I'm going to try not to accidentally mute my mic. It happens. It happens. The mouse that I use, it's like, it's dangerous. We're just gonna, we're just gonna put it over there. The magic mouse. I swear, if you swipe your hand over it, it it goes. But um, someone asked me, what is your lip color? It is Lisa Eldridge lip gloss. Uh, <laughs> do what color? Because I can't read that with those glasses. I have two two glasses. Lisa Eldridge blush lightly. I am obsessed with this brand. There you go. Um, I threw it on at the last minute because I'm not super made up, but I felt like I looked really pale. But anyway, welcome today. Okay, a couple things. I popped a little poll up in the live chat. It's not like a deep question. You know, it's not like going to change, you know, it's not going to bring about world peace. But it was just that question of, do you tend to do the same things over and over? Or do you, you know, mix it up? And hold on here. I got to turn, I got to bring that air conditioning down a bit. And let me tell you, I love that I can do that. All right. So, because for me, let me tell you what, I'm going to back up a little. And if you're if you're joining me for the first time live, we get chatty on the lives because this is an unscripted live card making thing. We're going to get into the products in a minute. But when I woke up this morning, I thought to myself, oh, hey, Amy. Hey, good to see you. Um, and my bestie, Sarah Vicky. Uh, I thought I'm going to cancel my live. I even told my hubby, I'm like, I have so much work to do today, which I do. <laughs> have a there's a new release coming tomorrow for Simon Says Stamp and I'm like I don't have any ideas there's nothing and as I'm sitting in my studio this morning I'm working on things I'm actually getting some of the things done that I needed to get done I thought you know you always enjoy when you do some of your go-to things and when you take that approach and so it got me thinking I mean how many of us do that when we're crafting like I'm gonna I'm going to stay in my wheelhouse because my wheelhouse, oops, that's my, my wheelhouse serves me well. And we don't always have to try everything new. So that was my thinking today. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, oh, thank goodness. Mindy just got her air conditioning fixed because Mindy lives in the same belt as I do. And we, we going to get tropical. We are tropical today. Okay. So I'm going to go to the table and I'm going to talk a little bit before we get started, but let's switch the glasses so we can actually see what we're doing. And in other good news, I still have a little coffee. Mm. But then I'll switch over to my water bottle that has my face on it because I love that, Vicki. I love that water bottle. Okay. Okay. Um. Here's what we're going to do today. I pulled a stamp set that I have not done a ton with. In fact, my favorite greeting from CZ Design, that's me. Hey, that's me. Uh, Sisters Forever is Sister from Another Mister. I love the type. I love that font and the treatment. So that's going to be my greeting today. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stencil over a stencil mask, which is one of my favorite things to do. And uh, hold on a second. My nose is running because that's what happens when we're live. And what's crazy is my glasses start to steam. It is so steamy. So let's start out with this layered stencil thing. And this is one of my favorite little go-to things is you just stencil on your favorite colors through another stencil, right? And then you have a panel. So here's what we need to start with. Now, I am gonna show you this because I think this is really cool and I don't think, no, okay. When I did my studio tour, I did not have an extra one of these. Now this little, this little stand, it's a cutting board holder from Yamazaki Home. Now I keep my cutting plates in here, but I also, because I have a number of the, you know, the grip mats, right? These grip mats from Waffle Flower. I've started keeping the ones that are not in my Misty tool in one of these. And I'm, I have it like right out in the open so that it's easy to grab. So the one I actually want to work with today is the big one. And I'm telling you for stenciling, these things are great. So that's my little bread stand. It's a little awkward to kind of, you know, pick it up, but um, I love these things. And for your cutting plates. All right. And actually, 
I think it even would hold a Misty tool. So there you go. It's a, I don't have it linked, but I am going to add that link, Emma or Beth, just remind me. <laughs> they always help me out. So let's start out here. Oh my gosh, these are sticky. And we're going to start ink blending. Sometimes, sometimes when I'm when I'm live, I wish I had all the things ready to go, but I, I don't. Um, oh, a quilt ruler stand. Well, that sounds kind of cool. I don't know what that is, but I'm popping this down on my mat. And I, I am loving this size because, right, you can, I mean, you can, uh, you can get a lot of things on here and I think it's cool. Okay. And again, welcome to everyone who's joining. This is, uh, this is your, your friend, Kathy, Kathy Z here today with some Nina Solar White Classic Crest cardstock. We're going to make a panel because this is a go-to for me. It's like, if I don't know what I want to do, and I have so many videos with the masked off area and a stencil on top. Well, maybe not so many, but I have a lot over the years and it works pretty great. So what I'm gonna do is pull out my A2 stencil masks. Now I don't want the biggest and I don't want the smallest. I want the thisest. <laughs> see what the opening is on this. Uh, the thisest. This is, the opening is three inches by uh, four and a quarter. Now you can mask with post-it notes. You can mask with, um, post-it tape, masking magic, any kind of low-tech tape you can also do this with. I just absolutely love this stencil set and I've probably used this over time more than any other set. So what I'm gonna do, we got this stuck down. We got this, we're just gonna center it, right? To the best of our ability. Cause I'm gonna, I'm going to trim this down a little, not much. So if it's not perfect, we're fine. But this is what I love about the grip mat. Now, if you don't want to risk it at all, you could trim, I'm going to zoom in here, before you start blending, right? Um, but I I feel like this has been working so well for me that I just, I haven't been. I haven't been trimming my panels down. So we're just starting with a four and a quarter by five and a half, okay? Then all I'm going to do is you're going to pop in a design. Now I love this design and actually I think I want to I want to center it so that it's about the same top and bottom side to side. This I'm going to bring in some tape. Now I can hold it a little right here, right? Then actually it's picking up a little on the side too. Hey, that's not bad. But I'm going to have to tape it on the other side. So where is the tape? Okay. Okay, wait a minute. Someone's got it against for me or CZ is something. Is there something happening out there that I don't know what's happening? Because I, you know, I look at the comments. I see them out of context. So even though you don't, you know, you don't have to use as much tape, I'm still going to use some tape because I'm, I'm not crazy. I'm just good. <sighs> okay, so we're sticking. We're good. I don't think this stencil is going to move. Let's bring in some color. So I am going to be using my favorite my favorite progression of color, which is pink into orange, into yellow, into green. That is like a go-to palette for me, this partial rainbow, this starting uh, the rainbow off not with red. That's another thing that I do all the time. It's not that I don't like red. I feel like more people notice that I don't use purple in my rainbows and yet I love purple. So, you know, go figure. But I love this palette. I've been doing it when I don't have an idea. I just think to myself, well, you know, I, I'm just going to do it because I know I like this. So that's what you know about yourself. Oh, thank you, Gina. Clarified. Okay. <laughs> adverts. You're so European. Okay. Because, because you know, we call them ads. But I love, I'm going to start saying advert just so I sound, you know, more international, more continental. All right. Gonna come in. This is how I clean my brushes. I don't wash them anymore. It's kind of cute that I did in the beginning because I thought, oh, you got to keep them clean. No, no. But here's a little tip. You know how sometimes if you haven't used your brushes in a while, and this is for all the brushes that I have, and I have Gina brushes, I have Waffle Flower brushes, and I have Simon brushes. You know, they can get a little, um, 
almost not hard, but they might not feel as soft. So just, you know, use your paper towel or your kitchen towel to its full advantage and just kind of recondition, right? Get it going. And now we're going to blend. We're just going to blend. I'm going to take a little ink. I absolutely love pink lemonade. It is, yeah, they get stiff. They get crusty. There you go. You got it. We're just going to do a blend. Now, someone also asked me recently, Kathy, you do diagonals a lot. Why? I don't know. I just, I like the motion. I like that a diagonal in my mind, and I am holding this down because this stencil, I don't want to go underneath if I can avoid it. Uh, diagonals just have energy and motion. And that's why I do it. No big whoop. Uh, but I am holding, getting my fingers involved. I'm not worried about the stencil shifting. I'm just worried about getting underneath. All right. Pink lemonade is just a fantastic color. I don't, I think they're, I don't know if they're in stock at this point in time, but I have fallen in love with this shade of pink. It's just beautiful. Just beautiful. See, Amy, that's just it. And are diagonals easier? Well, they're easier if you're working perpendicularly, you know? I mean, I feel like I feel like there's some truth to that, you know, um, but it's definitely something that I do more than the horizontal going down the page. All right, let's get this friend here. Nice to see you all here. And again, if you've never caught me live, this is, you know, like I said, it's unscripted. It's we're making stuff on the fly. I do this once a week on Wednesdays, normally at noon, but I'm starting a new thing in August, and that is the first Wednesday of the month. This is nectar, by the way. Um, I'm going to, I don't think it's going to be very strong. I'm going to be going live in the evening, the first Wednesday of the month, because I know not everybody can take a lunch break and watch a video. Um, you know, this is my job, so I am here during, during most people's lunch breaks. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do it in the evening. And my hubby will have to, well, he'll have to suffer not watching TV shows with me, which I know breaks his heart, but he likes to read, so he'll find things to do. <laughs> it's going to be fine. All right, we're just overlapping a bit of the nectar, and I love this color too. It's a very pretty orange. Um, I, I feel like it really does have more depth to it than you might initially think. Uh, so nectar, great color. And I do have to pace myself for where the colors go. Hey, it's nice to see someone here for the first live. I bet your name is not Tink, but you know what? Hey, Tink, glad to have you here. All right. Okay. You know, Dan is on a walk right now. I don't, um, my head, hubby's an elementary school teacher. And uh, he's he makes the most of his summers, let me tell you that. And this summer, we've decided to renovate our bathroom. And it all started when our sink started leaking. And the bathroom that we have in our house was remodeled in the 70s, before, long before we bought this house. And it was, I mean, it, it, there's some garish things. Um, let's just say it's, it's, it's a process. But as long as I can take a shower, that's fine. I don't care what else happens. All right, we're going to bring in Buttercup. I tapped quite a bit off because I don't want this to be too dark. And again, I'm just holding that stencil down, right? to get that blend, to get that little overlap. Now, I thought about mixing and matching uh, colors. Um, oh, I just saw Deepika. Yeah, that might not work. <laughs> you have to catch that on the replay, right? Um, and that's the nice thing too, uh, departure here, but doing lives in the afternoon does give a chance for people across the pond and over in Europe and uh, Asia to catch a live. Maybe not my Aussie friends, because I think they have to get up way too early. My my Antipodean crafty people. All right. I think that's enough. Let's bring in Sprout. Uh, Stampin' Sue, this is all Concord and Ninth today. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I was going to mix my colors. I, because here's the thing. I, I do like to... Oh, Pam, it's going to be the first Wednesday of every month. It's going to be a 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, I was going to mix inks and then I decided, you know what? I am just going to go with Concord and Ninth, but you know, people who work in the craft world, we have all, we have all the inks. We have the full set. We, we don't have to worry about the syndrome because a lot of us 
have the full sets, but you certainly don't need them. As long as you have colors that work, dye base inks from manufacturers, they're going to all work great together. Most of them are going to play just fine. And so you can mix and match what you have. You can try a few companies and see, oh, maybe I do like this. You know, um, yeah, it's, it's fun to see which inks you love. Now, when I started crafting, making cards, I've uh, been crafting for a long time, but it was Gina K inks that I used the most. And I still feel like I know her inks the best, like I know what colors work, but I still, I still mix it up, you know? Um, I have four different, dis five, I have five different distinct companies of inks. And uh, one thing I haven't been using much lately is Distress Ink Cubes. I haven't, I don't know why. I should. I love them. And therein is the pull, right? The phase. I, I, I go through phases myself, whether it's doing a similar design over and over again or um, sticking with a particular ink brand or sticking with a particular palette. And I feel like there's comfort in that. Um, sometimes for me, I mean, yes, I work, I work in crafting. This is how I support my family, but I, I, I wouldn't do a job that I didn't have fun doing. And so part of me repeating techniques and doing the same thing over and over, it's comforting. It brings me, um, comfort and pleasure and joy to feel like I know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? And so if it's something you've done again and again, if you introduce just one different little product, you mix it up, you mix it up. And then all of a sudden you've got something slightly different. So let's take a look at how pretty that is. This is a really, this is a fun stencil and I hadn't used it, which is why that was my something new. It's kind of like something old, something new, something you've done a million times and not something blue. I don't know. It's, it's, there's, I'm sure there's a craft mantra in there, but look at how nicely this masks off. I mean, look at that. It's so cute. It's so cute. Now I have an idea and actually might as well do it. We're here. We're going to do it. I'm going to lift this off and these do come off the mat fairly easily. So that's, what's interesting. It's like, it holds it in place fantastically, but it's not like I, I rarely bend my paper when I'm taking it off, but yet it sticks. Well, it sticks like a mother. It's like a big old foam square. It's just crazy. All right, let's line this back up and get this out of the way. Now on these mats, I have been, um, when my stamping ones that are in my Misty, oh, where's the top to this? Oh, I gotta find it. Oh, there it is. It's hard to see because <laughs> they're clear. Um, they wash off really nicely, just running them under warm water. And if they get, you know, a little dusty or dirty, you just, that's what you do. And the stick comes back. All right. Yeah, this, this stencil is, you know, it's interesting, Lisa Riva, that you said the term colorways. Um, I'm going to clean these really quick. Hold on a second here. I actually, I actually the other day looked up the term colorways because I don't know if it's, if it's just me but that term itself has really come into vogue in the last couple years, right? All of a sudden, I'm working on some projects <laughs> and the woman I work with, this is a couple years ago, um, my, my boss over at Simon or at um, Scrub and Cards Today starts using the term colorways. And I'm like, what? Is that just a new way of saying color? <laughs> Anyway, um, colorways, I looked it up because I, and I literally Googled, is this like a new thing? Well, it's not a new thing because it literally refers to, um, a color combination, right? And, um, it's actually it comes from the 1940s. Isn't that interesting? Like it's a production term, um, that was, has been around a lot longer. It just is one of those terms that now has kind of seeped into all areas of crafting and we hear colorways all the time. Now, the reason I wanted to do that is look how great this is. You clean it off with a rubbing alcohol. I just use the kind you get at Target and you can put your stencil away. Same thing here, clean and ready to go. Most of the time when I'm not filming a video, I just take these to the bathtub that is currently getting remodeled. Well, the bathtub isn't. Um, I rinse them off 
get as much off as I can of the ink and then I put them in my little grassy holder that's in one of my drawers, but that's very quick. Okay, now I wanna, I wanna do something and it's gonna take a second. So talk amongst yourselves while I grab my splat box. Here we go, splat box. There's the box and here's the product. Okay, all right. I love this thing. It's getting, it's getting pretty shiny and pretty and, oh, okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna clean a few things out of the way here because if you've seen, if you've seen my craft room tour, um, it gets a little tight in here, you know, and ah, there's not, well, have I shown you? I did do this once, didn't I? Let's go wide, wide angle. You'll see my lap. You'll see everything. I don't have, like, as soon as you start to look around, there's like, it gets real crowded because the computer's right here. That's where I, you know, I talk to you and I tell you, fills up fast fills up fast. So let's get back in. And I think we're still live, right? <laughs> I'm just looking at that. Yes, we're still live. Um, Kimberly, I have seen those. Yeah. And I had to, I, I, I one thing I wondered, and maybe someone knows, I, I know they're expensive. Um, but what I also wondered about those, did, did she take all the photos that are in that series? Because that's a, if she did, or a hired someone, that's amazing. There are so many photos. All right, I wanna spatter on some gold, okay? And this, I, I don't have this listed because uh, I just decided to do this, but this is the Brutus Monroe Aqua Pigment in Gilded. I feel like this is my new favorite little add-on extra product because I do like, I like a little gold spatter and I love this. So I'm gonna zoom in here. Splatter, <laughs> thank you. Um, I'm gonna get my fan brush out. Let me grab an acrylic block. Uh, where are you? Okay. Now here's the only problem. I wish I had gotten a, uh... oh, she did. I... Okay, that's interesting. I wondered about that because how can you do that and resell something? I want, did she, does she have the rights to all that? I just, that was my question. That was my question. I thought, huh. It's a really expensive product. But maybe, is everything on the internet free? I don't, I don't know, maybe it is now. All right, we're covering up our keyboard because every time I do this, it goes everywhere. But I love how this looks. And this is another thing, like when I, I if I have the time, I'm gonna do the spatter, you know what I mean? So I'm shaking it really well because the pigment does need to mix. And let's go in here and just pop it on the block like that. You don't need much. I feel like this is going to last a really long time, but I love it. I will add this to the links after the fact. I'm going to take my little distress sprayer and just get my brush a little wet. You don't really need to um, worry about uh, this because it is liquid, but I do like to test it first, get most of the big chunks out, and then... I'm gonna go at an angle, right across. Big chunks over here. That's it, that's all we're doing. Let me set this right here. And I'm gonna clean this up real quick. That's the only thing that stinks is that I don't have uh, something to clean this off with. Barbara, have you have you used this? Speaking of someone who makes beautiful cards, Barbara, have you tried this Aqua Pigment Gilded? I'm telling you, it is really good because the only thing I had comparably was a gold, um, I'm just trying to clean this a little, a gold paint that's part of a Gansai Tambi set. And uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know, Amy. I just, you know me. I'm like, oh, I'm so delicate. I can only put a few on. But I tell you, I think it's going to work. Another thing. All right. Now, so here's the thing. Now we're going to stamp our greeting. But see, when it drops. Okay, the light's terrible right now. It's just too overexposed. But 
This is going to dry really nice and shiny. I'm going to show you that here. It's, it's just a very, there we go. See that little goldy goldy? Ooh, it's so nice. Okay, so we're going to set the, oh, there we go. Well, I can see it better than you. Now, we're going to stamp a greeting. <sighs> Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> it does look great. I'm getting so much better with the splatter. <laughs> okay, now, I'm going to bring in my Misty that looks like, it looks like I've kissed it four times. Twice I gave it a big old smackaroo and then the other times my lipstick came off and I, I didn't really know what I was doing. But all right, zooming in here or zooming out just a bit. And this is okay. I, I love these sticky mats to have in place because it really doesn't matter where you put it. You just, you know what I mean? Just stick it down. Oh, it's pretty good. Okay. Yes, I used the eight by eight mat, and then I have, this is the four and three quarter by six inch mat. I am going to take out Sisters from Another Mister. Although, is that just gonna be too big? Let's see. Oh, that's gonna, that is gonna cover a lot of the design. You know what? I might do two things. Cause look at, it. it's huge. You know what? I'm gonna also grab, well, I don't know. I could do Love You Sister because I have sisters in law. That's why I did the Sisters by Law, Friends by Choice. I've already made a card with that. How about, eh, I'm going to do Sisters Forever because I love, no, I'm going to, mm, yeah, I'm going to do Sisters Forever. Here's, a, here's another thing I do too. Oh, hey, Kelly. Nice to see you. I stamp multiple greetings all the time when I'm doing projects because I don't know what I'm going to use. I don't know, I might change my mind. And yes, I do have the dies in there. So that is another, that's another go-to. I do love this set. Yeah, it's called Sisters Forever. And I, uh, it was someone, someone requested it. It might've even been, I think it was the owner of Simon Heidi. She said, can you do a sister set? I'm like, can I? So now I am doing the prime with the finger because I, uh, I haven't stamped with these ones. See, that's just, that's the thing. So <laughs> when we design products as people who design products, a lot of times the turnover is so fast and you're, you're having new things coming out all the time, which is true um, in, any, in any craft industry. Um, tomorrow we have a new release coming from Simon. I have one new stamp set and two dies. Um, and I'm excited to share those. That video is gonna come. I think I'll do a premiere tomorrow. Uh, maybe at noon? Yeah, probably at noon. Anyway, what happens is you move on so quickly from one set to the other, and then you forget, oh, I have this stamp set. Oh, I haven't used that one yet because, you know, I mean, I, I don't make videos for every day of the week. That, that would just be an incredible amount of filming and studio stuff. Um, don't get me wrong. I love doing it. But so when I was looking through stamps this morning, I went into the closet. I went into my little CZ divider. And I'm like, you haven't done enough with this. Pull it out. So there you go. It feels good. So this is my Simon embossing ink. I'm on a kick with this right now. Again, I've gone through phases where I'm like, I'll do Versamark for a year and then I forget about this ink and then I come back to it and I'm like, I love this stamp or embossing ink, this watermark ink, it's a good one. I actually just, well, last week, week and a half ago, I, I re-inked uh, it and then it was very juicy, <laughs> which is good. See Kelly, I don't, I don't have sister, but I do have great sisters-in-law and you know, I could, and I do have sisters from another mister. Um, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of them out there. I can think of a lot, <laughs> a lot of sisters from another mister. Okay. Now I don't want to over smush, but let's take a look. Um, I feel like I totally missed the center of that. So let's get that in there. And that's one thing you definitely find out when you throw your powder on, right? You can't see. There we go. That's better. I'm still going to ink it again. Brand new stamp. Needs more ink. So we do it. 
One of the things that I love doing in a videos, regular videos, even though I film them live and talk live while I'm doing them, I do like being able to edit out the parts that take too long like this. Okay, sisters from another mister, sisters forever. Let's see. Mm. Isn't that great though that the grip mat just holds the paper in place, no magnet needed? Yeah, that's the, that's my graphic. All right, I think I have enough. We'll see. We can always stamp it again if we have to. So setting aside that, let me grab my paper catch. I don't have one ready, so let's take, ah, don't come back, take a piece of paper. This is just 20 pound pink copy paper that I basically order off Amazon. Simple, you can get, you know, office supply store. Oh my gosh, there's a little dot. That's hilarious. I did. I have a video coming in a couple weeks. I was looking for that tittle and there it is. Dang it, I knew I cut it out. Tell you things, things that make you go, hmm. Okay, I'm going to get my Protect the Manny and I'm going to be using the Simon Says Stamp Ultra Fine Ant. No, that's not the one I want. Hold on, that's not the one I want. I want, <gasps> This one, Ultra Fine Gold. I have been on a kick lately with this. And so I'm gonna take this out. Also, when I'm doing all the stuff and waiting and picking up, I always leave my paper in the Misty until I'm absolutely ready. I don't know why, it's just that's been a thing I've been doing lately because I just wanna keep that ink nice and fresh. I wanna protect the Manny, thank you. Strawberry macaron today, my friends. Love it. Uh, yes, <laughs> bet that was. He just has to wait for his chance to go. Oh, yeah. He was working. He was working last night, so maybe he needed to sleep in. I don't, I don't know. Um, how good did I do? Eh. See, this is where I feel like, um, well, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Did I powder this? I did, yes, okay. Um, that's pretty good. All right, we're gonna funnel this back in. Yes, we all know what a tittle is. You know what's funny? I work my whole life as a graphic designer and you know, that that's my trade. That's my, tr well, I, I will say it's my trade. It's what I ended up doing with my career and then it led to this, but I did not know the term tittle until I, started watching Laura Basson, which is hilarious. Um, I learned it from Laura. Now, now I know. And then I, I know other things about type, like the centers of the words are called counters. Did you know that? Or the centers of the letters. All right, here's the thing. Let's, uh, let's zoom in a little. This is gonna need some cleanup and I don't know if I didn't get enough powder down, but I'm gonna do a little, a little cleanup. Most of the powder fell away though. Actually, that looks pretty darn good. If you don't have a little dry brush, um, they're so helpful because, oh, you know what though? I just noticed this. My brush has a little, he has a hair. We don't want that. There we go. Um, they're great for picking up little errant pieces of powder. All you have to do is touch it and blow. But I think, I think this will be fine. Although I do see, again, I see a few in here. Gotta concentrate. There we go. The only part that kind of sucks if you're if you're not sure-handed and then you just brush everything off and then you're like, great, great. Uh, but I think we're good, so I'm gonna melt this powder. Let me heat up my tool and we'll make the magic happen. I always point it up just so I don't accidentally melt my microphone or I don't know, so, so, something. That's what I do. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, bye Tink. Those babies, they wake up. All right, here we go. Mm, look at that. So 
so much pleasure. You know what? I wasn't even I wasn't even thinking. I could have done Brutus Monroe gilded to go with the Brutus Monroe uh, spatter splatter aqua pigment, but really, I think it's going to be fine. So let me uh, get our dyes. Now I have a feeling that I don't have these cut out because yeah, let's get our little nippers. So these aren't. These are my beetalon uh, wire snips. I can't pick these up. Okay. And, uh, well, you know, we haven't... Wait, which one do I want? I want... Oh, oh, it's that one. Okay. Cut. They really do work well for this process. And uh, you just... I, I'd like to clip when I can instead of twist. Um, but then I... Oh, do I... No, no. Okay. Here we go. This could have been handled yesterday, but you know, I, I didn't know. I, I, I didn't know what I was doing, as is often the case for my lives. Some, sometimes I have a plan. Um, in my mind, I had a plan, but I didn't have, let's see, is it that one? Yes, it is. All right, remember, cut those little edges off so that you don't bleed. I know that tabbed dies sometimes might seem like an extra step, but the good news is once you get them all done, and some people are really good about, they get their tabbed dies and they do it right away. I am terrible at it, meaning I leave it until I get one that I need, but I always get as close as I can and twist. That way, this little piece, which will go over there, um, hopefully I will not bleed when I'm crafting. Oh, but you gotta... Got to get it right in. Oh no, I'm not doing a very good job with that one. Come on now. We might have to leave it. Well, we're going to leave that one. I can't seem to smooth it. Okay, how, how are we doing out there? He wants to watch. Well, Beth, tell your hubby he's he's welcome in my, my craft room anytime. Okay, now uh, let's get these taped up. Okay, why are you... There we go. Okay. Setting this aside, and let's tape these into place. Uh, I have my tape somewhere. <laughs> where did it go? Seriously, where did it go? That's so random. Oh, I'm telling you. Can I have some more coffee? I don't think I'm ready for a liquid. Mmm. Mmm. True story. Here's the Band-Aid that Dan brought in last week. <laughs> I just keep it out. Just in case I need it. Okay, let's do this. Which, that, no, yep, okay. Now, something you may or may not know about my dies. Um, this is something I've been doing for the past few years, and it is this. I try to give my dies, and I'm going to have to get my head over here, a little bit more of a generous frame. Um, it makes it easier for me to cut them out, although I don't. I feel like I'm having trouble seeing this one. Um, that's just how I like to design them. Some people like them a little closer. Oh, Kelly, you're always super chatting me. Girl, thank you. That's very kind. Um, but I just, yeah, I like to have a little, a little extra room. But I am going to tape it in three places because uh, the paper's a little warped. Okay. The other thing that is happening, oh, look at this dry now. Can you see the shine? Wait, let's see. Oh, it's there. Doesn't want to be there, but it's there. Um, I am doing a, a test right now with plates and my new Gemini Junior. And something I should tell you that I did yesterday. One of you, and if I don't, if you're here, you gotta you gotta take credit for this. Emailed me and said, Kathy, <laughs> you've been talking about. The uh, trying out the Empress. Did you know they're on sale at HSN? And did you know if you sign up for their newsletter or if you just register, you get an extra 15% off? Can you guess what I did yesterday? I just, 
Okay, I don't need another machine. However, I feel as a, as a purveyor and a professional crafter, it is important for me to try all the things. So I, uh, I ordered it. <laughs> I ordered it, but I am also going to be um, reporting on my plate experiment, okay? Because, uh, well, I'll show you. Let's do let's do them separate so I can show you. Okay, that is interesting. I know that you know some people like more, some people don't, and it's it is one of those uh, things. I don't know if I did a good job framing this, but let's just cut it out. I'm going to show you. So this is sandwich number one with the white Gemini plates and the double-sided die plates for the Gemini 2. Let's see if Gemini Cam will come online. It might. Yeah, there it is. Great. Okay. Here we go. The Gemini 2 is definitely quiet, comparatively. Oh my gosh. Come on now. Here we go. Okay. Now. Come back to table cam. So here's my first cut. Oh, that looks really good. See, that is, I mean, that's a frame that I love. Um, probably on a, a, six, an eight, a sixteenth of an inch. Um, but we're going to have this right here for now. Now I'll show you experiment number two. Okay. That is over here. Now, <clears throat> this is, I've been, I've, by the time the experiment is done, it will be 30 days. Okay, just so you know. 30 days and this one is the sandwich that they recommend now i have been cutting a lot with this as well i do every other one it's been bending crazy um also uh jen it's not as big as it looks on my like i feel like when you see it on um die cut cam it looks ginormous it's well, it's bigger. Yeah, what am I saying? Okay, um, let's come back to table cam. So I'm gonna flip my plate. I'm gonna pop this on here. The magnetic shim, which has really gotten, yeah, it's gotten a workout. That goes on. Then this plate, which already has a little bit of mucky muck on it. And then this, and then we're gonna run this through. So let's go to the die cut cam. So this one takes a little more lining up just to get it in but there you go there's a bug in here and that's not good wait what's a thousand dollars i just saw lee post um and i'm curious as to what is a thousand dollars okay so but what i've been told is when you take this it, it cuts beautifully you flip it for the next time so you're just always flipping that bottom plate because this top plate that looks great, like no problem at all. Um, the new Cricut. Um, I am not a Cricut user. Um, I have, oh, let's, let's see how I line this up. You know, that looks good too. We're, we'll have to decide, we'll have to make a call here. Um, so those are, that that's what I've got working right now with the machines. And I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. I'm just not, I'm not 100% sure but uh, yeah, Cricut, no. Oh, here's the other thing that I think is kind of cool. Check this out. They have this little stand up here and it's meant like you can fold it down, right? I just put my plates in there <laughs> like that. And I think it's kind of a cool way to keep your plates. But again, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be trying out the Empress soon as well. All right, moving this aside. Now, I've got one more cut. So let's bring, well, actually, that's not true. I've got a couple more cuts. Let me grab some more paper. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, here we go. I think I'm going to take, and now I'll show you another plate sandwich. This is this is just getting crazy. Um, Cassandra, yes and no. Um, I sometimes do. I'm going to... Cassandra wanted to know if I find it helpful to swatch things. Um, I find it helpful to swatch cardstock, which is why I have cardstock rings, and I love my cardstock rings. I don't swatch out a lot of other things, but here's the thing. I use them so much that I, and that's it. I play with my supplies because this is what I do for my job, right? Um, that I really 
get to know the colors. And I'm mostly thinking of inks right now. Um, so I, I don't refer to swatches other than cardstock. It's really weird. Um, but I would think it would be useful. Um, yeah. Now, I don't know uh, Cricut. So, oh, no sound. Did I just kill the sound again? Oh, boy. Sue, check your screen. Can someone check on whether or not I have sound? I think I, I think I'm good. Um, I'm going to cut out a couple more layers. Here's the other sandwich I've been playing with, which is just the old sandwich from my Gemini Junior. Gemini Junior is a great machine. Um, again, they J Crafter's Companion generously sent me this big machine, which, which you know, I'm not going to say no. I'm going to say thank you. But I've been using the same sandwich that I use with my Gemini Junior. And of course, I learned this from Jennifer McGuire. So, you know, all credit to Jennifer who, you know, Jennifer tests things out. I think it is the uh, engineer in her. She doesn't leave anything. She leaves no stone unturned. And so this is a really legit sandwich. And the cut on this is also beautiful. So thank you. I just, I'm just, now I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I, I did have lunch. I only cut into one plate. That was a mistake. I wasn't paying attention. But this plate, um, eventually it's going to get completely cut up, which, and then I'm going to have to replace it all together. But see, this is still so straight and I have been using it in the Gemini too. So there you go. Oh, oh and I'm going to have one more cut, but here's what we'll do real quick. Let's take these and put them in the pockets so that we don't lose them, but we're going to put it in the front. See, even a quick card, I swear, it takes me so long. Oh my gosh, we have 600 people. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here today. I, uh, I appreciate you all. And, uh, to all a good night. No, let's, let's glue these on. I wanted these, I'm trying to get into the habit. Oh, hey, Roberta, you're here too. I try to get into the habit. Uh, another thing that I see Jennifer and so many other people do. Oh, Amy, are you still here? <laughs> Amy or Savvy? Because, um, I'm doing this because it gives, it flattens things out. Amy, I learned from you a fantastic sandwich for 3D embossing folders. So thank you. I did it. I tried it. I watched a, a video from Amy and Prairie Paper and Ink, and sh you used the two metal shims with your sandwich. I tried that, and I feel like the heavens opened up. So thank you for that. And if you're wondering <laughs> what I'm talking about, you know, any, any channel, any video that Amy has recently on her channel, um, if she's using 3D embossing folders, she does the two metal things and it's amazing. Two metal shims. I don't even have two metal shims from the same maker, but I tried it and it worked so well. All right. We're just, we're just putting glue dots on here. Okay. So thank you, Amy. It, you are a genius. <laughs> Take credit where credit's due because I've used 1,700 different sandwiches and I did that once and I'm like, oh my gosh, it works like, it works like a charm. So, okay, there we go. Amy would be a sister from another mister and she's Canadian. So that's a bonus. That's any of you out there from Canada. That's a bonus in my book. All of my relatives are Canadian. My parents are, uh, are from Canada. They, they became citizens, but. I love people from Canada. Uh, what can I say? Every time I go to Canada, I have fun. Now it's been years, but I remember going to uh, a Creating Keepsakes University for Creating Keepsakes magazine back in the olden days, back in like 2000. I don't even know what, but uh, it was up in Vancouver and it was the most fun I've ever had at a CKU. Although, do you, <laughs> do you want to hear a story? Have I told this story? Okay. I'm an ex-smoker of cigarettes. I, uh, you know, I grew up on a, in a small town on the wrong side of the tracks, and I smoked myself silly for years. I was a closet smoker. I didn't want anyone to know. I have now been quit for coming up on 18 years. But back then, I knew I had to hide my smoking. Not from the Canadians. Not from the Canadians. They would have embraced me. They would have given me a beer, eh, to go with my cigarette. Um, but I was at CKU Vancouver. And I did not, I didn't want any of the people I worked with 
at the scrapbook magazines to know I was a smoker because they're all good Mormon folk. And, you know, Mormons aren't known for, you know, lighting up. And uh, so I, I would get up at 5.30 in the morning, go out in the front of, I think it was like a, the Hyatt or whatever. And I figured at 5 a.m., no one's going to see me smoking, right? No one's going to be there. And uh, I'm out there smoking a cigarette just getting that first coffee because I know it's going to be hours before I can smoke again. And who comes jogging up along and says, this is, I, this is the quote that will always burn in my ears. What are you doing up so early? Stacy Julian, founder of Scrapbook, uh, Simple Scrapbooks Magazine, um, out for her morning jog. Of course she was. I had a cigarette in my hand. I didn't know, do I drop it and pretend like I'm not smoking or do I hold it up? and give her that look. I held it up and I gave her that look. It's a long story. She, 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 there's no judgment, but her husband is a doctor. There's a whole story. It was hilarious. And, uh, that's my story. Okay. I got one more cut to make. <laughs> so Stacy Julian caught me smoking and I was like 39 years old. Oh, people, I'm telling you, you know what? Life is just, life is life is wild. I was so ashamed. Okay, we're going to cut this. But I mean, the thing is, too, it's like I am so glad I don't smoke anymore. But it, it was uh, it was hard to quit. So if any of you out there smoke, no judgment. Just know that when I finally quit, it was like I was dying for like a week. Um, but I I hit it for way too long. So I was good at it. I was good at hiding it. I'll tell you that. Or at least in my mind, I was. I probably smelled like an ashtray everywhere I went. But people were too polite to say anything. Although I was a pretty... You know why I probably never got sick much? Because uh, I, uh, I washed my hands so much being a smoker. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Okay. I think this is dry enough to cut. So we're going to cut a panel. Susan, just know it's hard. And when it is meant to be, it'll happen. It's it's so hard. Other side note, I, I quit six or seven times in my life. I quit when I was pregnant, no problem. That was like the easiest thing ever, but then I always would go back to it. Uh, but again, I was a sneak smoker, so I didn't smoke in the house. I smoked out in the alley in the middle of Minnesota winter, back by the trash, and my daughter, has no conscious memory of me as a smoker, but she said, I always wondered why you went outside so often with coffee. Oh, yeah. So sometimes it just takes time. Some of us start and it's not a good, it's not a good mix. My mom, bless her heart, she's 88, 89 years old. She always said to me, I tried to smoke, but I just kept losing my cigarettes and losing my matches. And I'm like, Good for you, Mother Teresa. So, you know, it's like they, they, they weren't happy. Let's just say. Okay. Panel is done. Greeting is done. This is my wheelhouse, people. It's my wheelhouse. All right. And it's nice to see all of you who have quit. I just, I know it's hard. It's a hard thing. Um, but, you know, it can, it, you can do it. You can do it. We all have our foibles. I, uh, you know, I've got many, many other ones. No, I really don't. I'm pretty perfect, actually. Joking. Okay, we're gonna score our note card at five and a half here. I am gonna now transfer into liquid mode. Mm. <sighs> okay, well, we're going. You know what, Lisa? My, <laughs> my grandpa rolled his own. My uh, late, many years now, Canadian grandpa Grandpa Lewis, he would, uh, he rolled his own. Actually, my uncles rolled their own too. There was a, there was a lot of that in Canada back in the day. Um, and that's fine. Okay, I need some foam tape. I feel like I want to say the brand of tobacco from my uncles and grandpa was Tech Export A, maybe. My dad smoked too. And uh, he, uh, he wasn't a heavy smoker and he quit. Well, he likes to say, he says to this day, I, I quit before you were even born. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I was, but I was stealing your cigarettes uh, when I was in high school. So I don't, I don't think that's, that's not, that, yeah, that's not going to wash it. But you know, let him believe what he wants. He's, he's an ex-smoker too. And I'm very proud of him for that. So 
I mean, he did quit by the time he was 50, so I'll, I'll, I'll give him that. <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna pop up our panel. I've heard about um, acupuncture. I wish I could get acupuncture to, uh, well, for all kinds of things, like the desire to want to keep my house clean. <laughs> I just don't, I just don't. Oh, I'm, I'm getting there. All right, okay. Oh, I just made an assumption based on uh, vertical or horizontal. Interesting. Okay, here's the question. Do Oh, see, you know what? I think we go with a little greeting. What do you think? What do we think? Because if I were to do this greeting, look at how much is covered. I don't, oh, but that's cute too. I would just have to change the card. Hmm. What, oh, you know what? Let's, while we're here, let's take a look at the poll. Y'all let me know. Do you want big greeting or little greeting? I'm going to close this other poll. And you know what? It looks seriously so, okay, we have the winner of the poll is most people go in phases. And that's, that's kind of a thing. I think I like the little greeting. Do we like the little greeting? Yeah, I think we do. Not that this wouldn't be adorable. That is really cute. Hmm. Uh, I'm torn. I like the greeting vertical big greeting. I know, that's just it. So actually, let me make another note card. Hold on. Aw, I'm gonna take that. Oh, excuse me. Gotta cut some paper. Hold on. Hold on there. I'm gonna get her. All right. I just used my, uh, my Tim Holtz, uh, Rotary trimmer. I really like that trimmer. I've, I've learned how to use it. And let's just score. Oh, come out now. Let's do our horizontal. I think it's kind of, I actually, I actually think I like the big one horizontal. So we're going to score this at four and a quarter. And what's great is I will have now a nice little note card. You know what else is great? Look at my die cut cam. You can put things in this this area too. Like when I run out of space, <laughs> I just put it over there. So the storage in there is pretty cool. Um, I like that part of it. Now this is a little off because my paper is actually cut off, which was kind of a bummer when I realized it, but it's a whole ream. Um, I'll show you something else too. So let's check it out. Go back to the die cut cam, take these things off. They say that you can have tools in here, but I've been putting little greetings. You don't want to look at that because there's something new in there. Um, you can put whatever you want in there. And so, yeah, it's kind of cool. But again, I will be getting <laughs> the uh, Empress and giving it a go. I got a, I got a great price on it. So we'll see. We'll see. It's good to know. All right. Now I am going to pop this onto the note card. But now I don't, do I want to go, doesn't even look that angle, does it? I kind of like to go left to right with the pink, so I'll do that. Mm -hmm. And we'll pop this down. I do like how this turned out. Again, this is my favorite way to do a card, right? We're going to mask, we're going to stencil, we're going to work with our favorite colors. Um, and yet... Every time you make a card, it's going to be different. <laughs> the mask. This is my mask. I've never heard that term. That's hilarious. I am going to pop this with foam too, just because I like a little, like a little extra. But I like backing them too, because then, is that too big? It might be. Hold on. Yeah. Because then um, it feels more substantial, and I like that. All right, there we go. See, that greeting does deserve a big home, doesn't it? I, I think so. I mean, this greeting deserves this home. I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's, uh, let's get these going. All right. Oh, Jana, yeah, no, some reams. Um, if you ever are folding and you know how to cut paper and you know how to fold it, it could be that your paper was cut off at the mills. Mills aren't perfect, right? Oh, you know what? I want to take this little piece and put it right in there. 
Uh, paper mills aren't perfect. They're almost perfect because they make the most beautiful product in the land, which is paper. But sometimes they can be off too. And I was really sad that I ordered an entire ream directly from Nina, the paper mill, which you can do. If you really use this paper, you can you can order it in bulk. I mean, it's expensive. Paper is expensive. Um, but it's kind of it's kind of cool to have all that paper. Oh, Phil Donahue, if that is your real name. This is Strawberry Macron, and it's actually a semi-sheer that reads as a cream, and I'm surprised. I only put two coats of the color on, and this was on, oh, when did I do this? This is four days now. I absolutely love it. Okay, little liquid glue for a little float time, and, oh, come on now, Kath, you gotta, you gotta look straight down, center, are we good? Does that look good? I think that looks good. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, I think we're good. I could bring in my ruler, but I don't feel like it because of the uh, the descenders of the letters. It's kind of hard to fit it under, but I think that's really nice. Now, here's what's weird. This looks way better in person than it does in the lighting right now that I have going on, but that happens sometimes. That happens sometimes on this camera or just, just in my studio lighting. Now, do we think we want to do a sequin or a pearl? Now, here's, oh, the pearls aren't here. Oh, oh, oh yeah, they are. Okay, the reason sometimes I like pearls is because they're so bright, but the problem is there is uh, no more teeny, teeny, tiny pearls in here. So I don't, I kind of am gravitating towards the sequins. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Let me get this little guy out here. Uh, well, one of the things also that I love about having multiple trays, these little uh, trays come in a four pack. So if you wanna just have multiple things out to try, you can. Let's just put those there. Just make more of a mess on the mask. It's funny. Okay, uh, but I would need a different pickup tool. So, what do we think? I see pearl. I wish that I had the really small ones and I don't. Oh, well, okay, let's just look at the difference between a pearl and a sequin. You can't even tell, <laughs> you can't tell the difference. You know what I mean? Like it's, I feel like today, I, I kind of want to go with confetti sequin, and I will tell you why. Because it's it's kind of flat to begin with, right? With the um, with the little spatter, and I feel like I'm feeling I'm feeling se uh, flat sequin. Well, you know what I mean. It's uh, and maybe do I want to play with a little of this pattern? I'm not looking at the comments right now, so if I'm doing something that's bumming you out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, where do I get these containers? These are from Elizabeth Ward. Elizabeth Ward. I don't have them linked. Um, Simon says Stamp used to carry them. They don't now, but I do have a link on Amazon that I can share after the live. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to post that. I have two, bead, two full bead trays. The container, it, is that upside down? There we go. The container itself comes in, or these containers come in the, a big tray and they're just great. They're just great. I don't know if I want multiples though. Like, I, oh, let's see. It's, oh, <laughs> it's not even the right tool to pick that up. What am I doing? It's a fine line between clever and, and not clever. And um, I feel like maybe we could do this or no, no. See, when I do the cluster of three, I kind of like that. Do we like that? Should we just do that and be done? What do we think? Yeah, let's just do it. You know what? My, my, my modus operandi <laughs> with sequins, if you, if you start thinking too much and too hard, you either dump them off and don't do it, or you just do it and you go. So we're going to go. And of course, in, when I'm done here, I'll take a lovely little picture. Uh, I kind of like like that. Yeah, it's just adding a little shine. We good? I think we're good. Cup side up. Cupward. 
Oh, I just ordered another one of these because I used the tip of this. Do you see how bent that is? To open the back of something that had a battery. And uh, let's just say, use your craft supplies for crafting. Don't, don't use them uh, for home repairs. Boop, there we go. Coming in, boop. Boop, a little higher pitched. Oh, I see Pearl, I'm sorry guys. Coming in. And the last one here, and boop. And that, my little Liebschkins, I just flipped my pearl, or I just, I just dumped my tray over. That is the finished card project. So, working in my wheelhouse, right? We're gonna take colors that I always use. We're gonna mask off an area, pop it up, put it on a white note card, um, simple embossing, big greeting on a background, which is just like, it's a go-to. It is a go-to. I love it. So that is, where's my, my split screen? Ooh, look at me. I'm not too sweaty. That's my finished card project for today. So I'll go take a photo in a little bit. I like to, well, I try to clean up. I do, oh, here, here's something that would be worth a poll someday. Are you a person who cleans up every time you craft between cards or do you just let the mess grow? I do not let the mess grow. I clean up every single time I start fresh. I alcohol scrub my work surface. I just go all in with the uh, cleanup. But anyway, that's our finished card project for today. And I wanna thank you all for being here. Let's see what time is it, 108? That's not bad, that's not bad. Oh, okay, couple little bits of housekeeping. Number one. Tomorrow, I think I'll do a premiere at noon. At noon, same time, if you can make it, it's not gonna be live like this, but I will be sharing a video that I have already filmed and I will post a link in the morning to the noon premiere and that is with new products from Simon Says Stamp. And let's see what else. Then Friday, there's a blog hop for the new release from Simon and there's a live at Simon Says Stamp. I'm pretty sure they're doing that and so that'll be fun. Uh, just to watch and see inspiration from many really talented designers that contribute beautiful things with all the products we design for them. Um, and then I have another card coming with the new release, and I think I'm going to try to do that on Sunday. So got a lot of things to edit today and get it all going for you, but I just wanted to thank you all for being here today. Next Wednesday, which is the new month, right? 7 p.m. Central. I'll be live. I uh, don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm I'm sure I'll come up with something by then. So, oh wait, Jean is on at noon tomorrow. Oh gosh, Phyllis. Okay, let's back it up. 11 a.m. Let's do 11 a.m. Because the video is only 22 minutes long, 25 minutes. Okay, tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. I got a video for you. Here's the thing. I'll, I, I have a newsletter. The link is in the description box. If you want to be notified every time I have a video, just subscribe to the newsletter. You don't have to open all of them, but they'll give you um, just the links and a reminder. So 11 a.m. Central, because Gina's on at noon. I love to watch. That's what I do. I take my lunch break and watch her. Thank you for that. Um, I always forget. <laughs> you got to keep them straight. You got to keep the time straight. Um, yeah, so I think, I think with that, all the info, good. I will update the supply list within the next half hour or hour. So if there's anything I mentioned, it'll be relinked. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. We're closing in on 74 and then it's 75. And oh, am I going to have a fun 75,000 subscriber uh, blog or video party giveaways. I got sponsors lined up. It's going to be a hoot and nanny. Okay, everyone, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you back here with another card project soon. Bye. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.